Okay, so in the news here, uh, a story of just mind-numbingly stupid leadership that act within a rule or a policy and have no common sense. In other words, I can only think within groupthink. I cannot think with any common sense. And my, oh my, folks, can I just tell you in today's world, it feels like the gap between groupthink and common sense is a massive chasm. Uh, uh, can I just tell you? Um, am I the only one who sees this? The gap between common sense and what I mean by common sense is an individual is confronted with a situation or a position and they look at it and they go, all right, let me let me pull this apart. Let me think about it. Let me consider it. What do I think? What do I feel? Why do I think that? Why do I feel this? And then they come up with a position. This would be common sense. Now, groupthink is, well, what's everybody else saying about it? Well, what are people going to say if I think this? You run every instinct through a filter of the majority or the loudest opinions. And that's how we get groupthink, which drowns out common sense. And in your case, you're wondering, what are you talking about? Well, that's how millions of Americans bought the idea that if you wore a mask walking into the restaurant and in the lobby waiting area and you wore it all the way to the table and you took it off just to eat, put it back on as you're walking back out of the car, that you were safer than the rest of us. That, my friends, is a groupthink. That is not common sense. Groupthink is compliance. Common sense is uncommon. So here we go. Lowe's. I love Lowe's. I love Lowe's. I love Amazon. Why is it that I always got these bad stories about companies that I love? I love Lowe's. By the way, I love Home Depot too. I love them both. I don't choose. That's just whichever one I'm closest to. I'm the same way on Pepsi and Coke too, by the way. Like, I really don't know if you put a Pepsi can or a Coke can in front of me right now, which one I'd pick. I don't care. So I'm not banging on Lowe's. I love Lowe's. But Lowe's fired one of their 68-year-old employees. Now, I think that's important to point out. 68. I can tell you, if a 68-year-old is working at Lowe's, it's for one of two reasons. One, they have to. Because they don't have the retirement that they need to be able to retire, and so they're picking up some hours. Or number two, because they want to, because maybe they are retired, they don't want to sit at home and watch Family Feud and Wheel of Fortune and everything all day long, the Game Show Network or whatever it is that 68-year-olds watch on TV, Murder, She Wrote, Matlock, I don't know. So he wants to get out and be active. Now, those are two really good freaking reasons to work at 68. So here she is. Her name is Donna Hansbro, or Hansborough. And Donna was at a Lowe's store when three suspects loaded over $2,000 worth of merchandise into a shopping cart and went out of the store. And here comes Donna. And Donna's 68. Donna's there because she wants to be or because she needs to be. In other words, Donna cares. And Donna says... Uh-uh. Any human with any sense of character, integrity goes, well, that's not right. But she doesn't just think that's not right. She attempts to grab the cart to stop them. She then gets hit in the face three times, to which gives her a beautiful little shiner for her trouble. And then she was fired. Why was Donna? fired for attempting to stop shoplifters. Well, I'm glad you asked. Because we live in a world today where it seems as though anyone can sue anyone over anything. Let me say it again. We live in a world today where it is seemingly possible for anyone to sue anyone for anything. And as outrageous as that sounds, there's a good chance they'll win or get some money 
because these large companies don't want to deal with the nuisance and they just pay to make it go away. And now we've got out of control ambulance chasers who will represent any snowflake with a hurt feeling. We need tort reform in this country. Just going to set that out there for you discerning individuals. Uh, we, the people, need to put the pressure on Congress to pass real tort reform. It ought to be really hard to sue somebody for something frivolous. Well, because of everybody being sue happy, Donna gets fired because, and I understand why these companies do this. In this case, Lois is saying, look, and this is their official statement. Products can be replaced. The $2,000 worth of products can be replaced. Donna cannot. I agree with that statement. So they put this policy in place so that Donna doesn't get hit over the head with a two before. Thankfully, Donna didn't get hit with a two before. But she still got hit in the face. But did Donna do what was right? Yes, she did. Did Donna follow the rules? No, she didn't. So what does the bright bulb in a management position at that Lowe's store decide to do? Well, Donna, this has to be, by the way, can I act a little bit here? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into a scene here. This is what I think the bright bulb, and I'm being sarcastic. This is what the dimwit, the, the dimwit manager does. Okay. They now know that the suspects have taken off with $2,000 worth of stuff. And there's Donna in front of them. Alex, Donna's probably bleeding. Donna's 68. She's been hit in the face three times trying to do the right thing. And you sit Donna down. Donna's probably shaking. And I'm assuming it went something like this. Donna, I'm, are you going to be okay? We're going to get you first aid, send you home, you know, whatever, whatever. And Donna, um, <sighs> section four of the handbook. Page 37, subsection 4.25. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Donna, it says right there that if someone to, were to attempt to steal, that Lowe's employees are forbidden, restricted from entering into the situation. And they are instructed to let it go, report it to the manager. And, and it's a fireable offense. And Donna, I mean, my hands are tied. I we could be sued. I could lose my job. I Donna. Donna, did you read this when we hired you? Yes, I did. Hold on, let me wipe the blood off my eye. Donna, I I you're such a nice lady, but Donna, I I have to fire you. We Donna, we have to let you go. You, Donna, are a danger to to Lowe's corporate. We could get sued. And Donna, um, I could lose my job because you didn't follow section 4.25 on page 37 of the menu. This is this is what this idiot's saying. And they fired her. Instead of, can I tell you what they should have done? Hey, Donna, I am so sorry this happened. You are so brave. Take whatever time you need. We're going to pay you. Go get well. Recover. Spend some time laughing. You know, you were very brave. Hey, listen, you know our policy is I could fire you for this because the company didn't want to get sued. I'm not going to fire you. If this were to ever happen again, Donna, would you please immediately call us? We're going to we're going to put a policy in place like do this, uh, get a description of them, take a picture of them with your cell phone, and we're going to put these guys in jail. Just in the future for your own safety, report it yes, don't grab the cart. Now, go take a couple days off. We'll see you back on Thursday. That's what they should have done. Well, thankfully, senior management heard about this bonehead, this dimwit manager, and they reinstalled Donna. So all is right with the world. Why do I share the story? Because we need more leaders who are willing to use common sense and think and not get stuck in a policy.